What's up guys, Physical Media Man back here again for another Physical Media Man Monday video. I have a MVD sale pickups video. Um, I might include this in July as well with the July monthly pickup, same thing as uh, the Amazon Prime stuff. Um, I also might do a separate video for the Kino Spring into Summer sale but also include that in the July video. Um, so the July video is going to be a really um, probably longer video than usual. I did get a lot of stuff. July is usually a big month in the physical media collecting uh, community with the Criterion sale going on, which I did not, did not partake in. Um, the Kino sale, the MVD sale, I don't know if that's always a thing, um, and Prime Day. So, um, And there's a lot of good stuff that came out this month and everything else. But um, yeah, before I get started, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, leave feedback, do a lot of good stuff down below. I'll leave the links to my Instagram page, my Physical Media Man store Instagram page, my Facebook page for the Physical Media Man slash Physical Media Man store, my Facebook page for non-media related items, the HodgePodge Garage, my email, my eBay, my Twitter, and my Letterboxd account. So um, there was a couple things that made me pull the trigger on um, ordering from this sale. Um, the prices were great. Unfortunately, it was either eight or nine dollars, I think, for shipping, which really stinks. Um, I think I ended up spending fifty um, after everything was said and done. Um, don't think I'm going to go in any particular order. Um, um, so yeah, we're just going to go ahead and get started. I think um, this one was three ninety nine. I think, um, and I remember watching it. It's been a long time. Um, but I originally, when I bought this on DVD, I bought it for my Will Ferrell collection. I'm also a fan of Zoe Deschanel. Um, also has Ed Harris in this one. We've got Winter Passing, which I don't really remember anything about this one, except for I didn't think it was that great. Um, but for $3.99, I wanted to give it a revisit and uh, see what I thought of it. So um, there's quite a few in, in this um, order that were kind of blind buys. I, I watched trailers and things look good. I think this was $2. Um, the Short History of the Long Road. Um, Sabrina Carpenter, Danny Trejo, um, and a couple other people I didn't recognize in this one. Um, so it says, for teenage Nola, home is the open road. Her self-reliant father is her anchor in a life um, the pair crisscrossed the United States in a lovingly refurbished RV, making ends meet through odd jobs while relishing their independence. A shocking rupture, though, cast Nola out of her own, out on her own. She makes her way to Albuquerque, New York, in search of a mother she never knew, only for her motorhome to break down unexpectedly. But yeah, um, it looked good from the trailer, so giving that one a go. Um, same thing with this one. We got the cat and the moon. I don't know. All these these um, next few, I'll just um, go through the ones that were kind of random buys that were $2. Um, this one is starring this main guy here, also directed by him. Um, one of the reasons I was interested in this, because uh, one of the supporting actors is Mike Epps from Indiana. Um, so this one's it's a coming of age story that centers on teenager Nick who comes to New York City to stay with a jazz musician friend of his late father's named Cal while his mom is in rehab. During his time in the city he befriends a group of kids who shows him what New York has to offer. So it looked pretty good from the trailer. Um, so for two dollars I figured I'd give it a chance. Um, next up we got Charlie Tahan or Tadden, I don't know how to say his name, in Drunk Bus. Um, he was in Ozarks, the TV show. Um, so this is, Michael is a recent graduate whose post-college plan is derailed when his girlfriend leaves him for a job in New York City. When the bus service hires a security guard to watch over the night shift, Michael comes face to face to tattooed face with pineapple, a 300 pound punk rock Samoan. Um, so what kind of fun from the trailer so figure I'd give it a watch um, so 
and look pretty good too. We got Breath, um, based on the award-winning international best-selling novel by Tim Winton. Simon Baker's directorial debut, Breath, follows two teenage boys, Picklet and Looney. Um, it says newcomers Samson Coulter and Ben Spence in, in breakthrough performances. Um, growing up in the remote corner of the western Australian coast, hungry for discovery, the pair form an unlikely friendship when Sando, played by Simon Baker, a mysterious older surfer and adventurer, pushes the boys to take risks that will have a lasting and profound impact on their lives. Yeah, looked good from the trailer as well. Um, and a couple of these might have only have been a dollar, I don't know. Next up I got this just because I'm a Dave Matthews fan. I haven't watched this one yet. I have the DVD, um, but there he is um, starring in this Where the, Where, Where the Red Fern Grows. Um, so when 10-year-old boy Billy Coleman wants most, in the, wants most in the world is a hunting dog. After two long years of hard work, he saves up enough money to buy a pair of red bone hound pups. And it's love at first sight. Before long, Billy trades Old Dan and Little Ann to be the finest hunting team in the valley. As the inseparable trio ch chases the wily ghost raccoon and confront danger together, Billy learns the meaning of loyalty, courage, and perseverance. Um, also features songs by Winona Judd and uh, Allison Krauss and starring Ned Betty. Um, Chris Christopherson, Mac Davis, and recording sensation Dave Matthews in his film debut. So yeah, figured I'd give that a watch, especially for the price. Um, I'm gonna do these. Uh, one of the one titles I really wanted to get. I think this one was three ninety nine. Uh, remember liking it? It's been a while. I'm a big fan of sports movies, so um, we got Sam L. Jackson and Josh Hartnett in Resurrecting the Champ. Um, so with this one, you got um, sports writer Eric Kernan, played by Josh Hartnett, wants nothing more than to discover a story great enough to make headlines. So when he meets Champ, played by Samuel Jackson, a former boxing champion living on the streets, he knows he has a shot to save them both. So, uh, yeah, looking forward to revisiting that one. Um, and I, I know I bought this on DVD. We got the last time I committed suicide. Just sounds like a great, fun watch. Um, but I bought it because Keanu Reeves is in it, and it was two dollars. Um, so it says, "Meet Neil Cassidy, played by Thomas Jane. He's got a poet's soul, a dreamer's heart, and a choice to make. Caught between between the allure of a drifter's life on the road and the security of a traditional home, Neil must decide which future he most desires." From writer and director Stephen K. Um, and also starring Keanu Reeves, Adrian Brody, Amy Smart, and some others. So yeah, two bucks, give it a watch. All right, getting into some of the, well, next up was one I um, was on the fence about, but um, I think this was one of the more expensive titles at $6.99, I think. We got The Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog. Um, uh, I was back and forth on getting this or not, but it came out in 1993. Um, so it's an animated TV show. I'm a fan of the uh, video games and video games in general, so I wanted to grab this. It says it's approximately 1,430 minutes. I'm not really sure how long or how many episodes it is or anything, but yeah, went ahead and grabbed that one. Um, Next up for a dollar each, I got some wrestling DVDs. I don't know how these will be either. Um, they're all these extreme wrestling legends. So first up, we got the Violent Sabu. Uh, these guys I don't really know anything about, so this might be interesting. We got Public Enemy, the Extreme Origin Originators, R.I.P. Um, yeah, so Flyboy Rocky Rock and Johnny Grunge. Form the tag team, the Public Enemy. Might be interesting. We got New Jack and Sandman, and then lastly we got Rob Van Dam and Raven. So looking forward to checking those out. Being a wrestling fan for a dollar each, I figured they were worth the gamble. Some of the stuff 
um, maybe to offset cost a little bit, I should have got a couple copies um, each of some of the cheaper stuff. Um, but we're down to the final two titles. Um, one I was kind of on the fence about on a recent sale, and I think this was four bucks. Both of these come with slip covers, so I'm real excited about that. Um, but we got five twenty-five seventy-seven. I don't know. Um, but this one was the one I was kind of intrigued by and passed up. Um, a sale or two ago so it says during the spring of 1977 sci-fi obsessed teenager pat johnson played by john francis daly um, finds himself torn between making eight millimeter sequels to his favorite movies and pursuing the girl of his dreams linda um, desperate to help her son escape his likely future in wadsworth illinois his mother janet the editor of american Cold calls the editor of American Cinematographer, Cinematographer Magazine, and Pat soon finds himself on the ultimate trip to Hollywood, becoming the very first outsider to see the film that would change him and movies forever, Star Wars. But when Pat returns to his hometown existence, he struggles to choose between chasing a seemingly impossible dream and accepting the com um, comforting familiarity of home. Yeah. Uh, I think... Kevin Smith might have had something to do with this too, if I remember. Could be wrong on that. Um, but yeah, looking for. It sounds like a fun watch. So yeah, it came with a slipcover and good deal. But here's why I mainly placed his order. So I should have probably got a couple of these. I was shocked when it came with a slip. So I'm real excited about that. Um, we got Smoke and Mirrors, the story of Tom Savini. Um, uh, documentaries are pretty interesting to me, especially. Um, um, things I don't know too much about, but I've been getting into the um, poor genre of movies, and um, he's uh, well known in that capacity or crowd or space or whatever. Um, so yeah, it's a, a documentary about him. Uh, came out in 2015. It's 91 minutes. Um, has a bunch of special features on it. Um, so yeah, this was only three dollars, I think. Um, but I got everything here for fifty after shipping because it cost almost ten dollars to ship. Um, some blind buys, but some the trailers they look pretty good. Um, so I'm looking forward to checking all this NBD sale items out sometime in the future. Um, hope you enjoyed this. If you haven't yet done so, please make sure to subscribe. This is a physical media man signing off. Physical media will never die. Physical media man, physical media man, physical media man.